Hi guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In the previous video, we have seen about how to load the data into the database as well as how to read the data from the database. And we only seen about inserting and getting the data from uh, like a database. Now what I want to illustrate in this video is how to update the data present in the table. So that I am going to show in this video. Now without wasting any time, let's dive into the topic. in the previous lecture we already seen about uh, how to insert the data into db now what i want to show you is here the first of all these are the contents present in the db in the public dot workspace here these are the three records with id as 123 124 and 125 now what i want to do is i want to change a little bit the input file here i want to change the input file with uh, 124 124 to 124 only but for 125 I am changing it to 126 and for 124 I am changing the name uh, I am changing the price as Redmi Note 8 and it is 18,000 and for one, uh, 123 I am changing the price to 50 50,000 and also I am changing the name as uh, one, plus seven, uh, one plus seven plus and it is uh, 8 Pro so these are the changes that I have done for 123 and 124 and uh, for the third record I am changed the uh, name as uh, like uh, ID value as 126. Now what I want to do is I want to update the records present in the DB with the ID values as 123 and 124 but not the ID 125. So that is why I want to I change this 126. Now what I want to do is here I just want to modify this a little bit and i will move this to little bit far so what i am doing is here in the input file the schema and all is same but what i am doing is here i am using tmap here i am connecting this tmap uh, output to tmap so this is fine and along with that what i am doing is i am using tdb input component so sorry tdb input component to retrieve the data from the workspace table postgres apply here i am using existing connection it is tdb connection schema is we need to insert id product underscore name as well as price and product uh, id and price are string integers so i need to modify that integers and it is also an integer okay so here uh, what i am doing is i am copying this and placing it here Yeah, the table name is workspace or I can mention it as public dot workspace query is mentioned and schema is also be wrote yeah, this thing save now I am using this TDP input as a lookup now what I want to do is I am looking into the input records and if there is any matching records with the tdb input then i am going to update this tdb output so how i can do that uh, how i can find the matching records is i need to do a join with the id columns with uh, i am doing inner join here i am doing inner join so that i will get all the matched records only so what it will do is it will do it will retrieve the only matched record with the tdb input as well as the input file and I am saving, I am writing the output, sorry, I will connect directly the output so that it will get 
update as output column yes so it will get the schema now what the output is the output will be id product name sorry not this one i want this product name that means the changed product name as well as the changed price so i am clicking okay here so these are the changes that i need and uh, you need to do some modifications here as well i want to change this to update so this is the things that i need to do and if you run this job let us check whether the data is updating or not yeah i am saving this job and running oh, it is shown some error there it is showing some key value there see it is showing some error for update condition you what it is saying is for update schema must have a key that means what it is doing is we are we are not specifying any key like on what basis we need to update the key normally in the update query what we have is update table table name sorry update table name where like uh, set some columns equal to some values where some condition that means uh, if some id is equal to 1 or id is equal to we need to specify some condition in the where field so that is what it is asking where we need to update that particular records so it is so uh, it is uh, saying that thing only for update schema must have a key so uh, how to remove that is whenever you are doing a update condition you need to do one thing here in the tdb output once you specify everything go to advanced settings here and click on the use field options and if you click that it will show all the fields that you have so the three columns are id product name price and update key deletion key updatable and insertable so you don't uh, bother about the insertable and deletion key the only thing you need to bother about is update key and updatable here update there is no update key that is what the error is showing but uh, on what basis we are doing a update here on the basis of id so i am making it as id and i don't want to update that particular id and the rest of the things like product name and price i need to update so what it will do is update table workspace set product name is equal to the new one and price is equal to new one where id is equal to the original one that is the key that we have so now it is fine similarly if whenever you want to do some other things update then you need to change this particular fields so this is the things that uh, these are the things that you need to modify for the updating and i am running this job i hope it will run run now yeah it runs successfully so if you observe this three rows gets uh, gets data from tdb input as well as three rows from t input file delimited and after the output only two rows gets executed that means uh, we didn't execute we didn't update in the 125 column so if you go to db sorry yeah so this is the previous output one plus seven note uh, redmi note eight a redmi note eight with the prices fifteen thousand and forty five thousand if i refresh it if you see that Re realme x2 125 it is with the old value only but uh, the new one 123 is one plus uh, one plus seven becomes as one plus seven plus and uh, price is 45 to 50 thousand similarly redmi note 8 to redmi note 8 pro and uh, 15 thousand to 18 thousand so the data is getting uh, updated in the table so this is how you can insert the data into the table and you can update the data into the table so these are the things you need to know about uh, updating and all the only thing that you need to consider while updating is in the update column you need to make the action as update once it is uh, action as update then you need to modify the field kind of field options with the necessary uh, update key as well as updatable and make sure that when whatever the key that you are mentioning here there should be some mapping to the column in the update if you didn't map 
this particular id like uh, if you want to only update the product name and price and you mapped only the product name and price and you are not mapping with the some data here but there is a column in the id but there is no mapping in the row to dot id that means what it will do is update means it will and the where condition will become like id equal to null value so if it is null value means no record will get updated in the output table that means it won't show any error but it the record the updation won't be possible in the database that means i what i am saying is that there should be some mapping for the i uh, update key as well so if you don't mention the, the data won't get updated here so you if you like that is the key point that you need to uh, like remember so these are the things about the updating db so that's all for this video guys thank you for watching